Let me give you seven tips for protective styling. Tip number one, soak synthetic hair in apple cider vinegar. This will remove the alkaline coating from the hair which often causes itchiness in your scalp and irritation. All you do is fill up a sink with warm water, add a little bit of apple cider vinegar, put your hair in there fully submerged, let it sit for at least 30 minutes, then rinse it out and let it dry completely. The result is some itch-free braids. You can thank me later. Tip number two, properly prepare your hair. I recommend washing your hair, following that up with a deep condition, and then adding a leave-in style and an oil. Now when it comes to what you use to braid your hair, I always change it up based on the style. So if I'm going to be doing a style with my natural hair and zero extensions, I'll use a moisturizing gel like the Main Choice 24 Karat Gold Glistening Gel. I love using this for my twins' hair for the simple fact that it retains moisture moisture for a really long time but it doesn't work by itself you have to do the other steps that I said in order to get the maximum moisture retention now if I'm doing a style like this braid it up I go for shine and jam I like using shine and jam because on a heatless blowout it'll allow my hair to get really straight and make it really easy for me to tuck my hair in the extensions Tip number three, use really good styling tools. I love using my Ion Pentel comb. This is perfect for parting your hair. I also really love using Croco clamps. These two things are a lifesaver for me. Croco clamps help me with organization, making sure my parts stay clean and no hair falls in the way. And then the Pentel comb keeps the parts real straight. Tip number four, get creative with edge styling. Finished edges can make your hair look so good. I love using this triple edge styler. Tip number five is to add accessories. You know, all the cute stuff. Like right now, I'm rocking these hair coils. And as you can see, it gives a totally different vibe. Super cute and really simple to install and it just elevates the style just a little bit. Tip number six is to break up the styling process if time is limited. So I like to wash my hair, deep condition, apply a leave-in and a oil, and then braid my hair into four sections and sleep in it overnight. I do that on day one, and then day two, I brush that out and I'm ready to style my hair. And tip number seven is to properly care for your hair while styling. So for my girls who work out, my biggest tip to you is to utilize dry shampoo. With braids and extensions, when you wash your hair with soap, if you're natural, your hair is just gonna frizz up. It's gonna frizz out of the braid. So I like using dry shampoo. All you do, shake it up, spray it on the roots of your hair, and then I like to take a rag and wipe my scalp clean. It works great. I've done it as an athlete running track. Like it's my go-to method. And it's a lot better than having to wash your hair in the beginning. Freshen up your hair, dry shampoo is a great option. My second tip is to oil your scalp. Oiling your scalp is really helpful when you first get your braids done, especially because it can help with releasing that tension in your hair. But it's also going to reduce flaking and dryness as you have your hair braided and put up. It's a really good um, thing to do on a regular basis. I like argan oil i think that it's nice and light and i don't necessarily have that oil dripping down my ear situation that sometimes you get when you use oils that are a lot thicker and my final tip is to use braid spray this could help with itching and moisture retention so there's three braid sprays that i would like to recommend to you today and you can use whichever one fits your budget or your lifestyle this first one is by proclaim this is what i use in my daughter's hair it's like this much left up in here and it's very affordable it works really good all you do is shake it up and then just spray it and that's it you're done you're good to go the next one is the OG African Royale let me know down below did your mom used to buy you this too my mom used to buy African Royale braid spray all the time as a kid and this is also another good option for anti-itch and moisture last but most certainly not least is the main choice tropical moringa now I like this one because it has a scent it's great for giving your hair a nice fragrance I also like using it because it's a restorative spray which means it is moisturizing so any one of these options will be really good for helping to maintain your protection protective style. Let us know below what is your protective styling tip. Let's share the knowledge. Let's share the love. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.